Okay, so we are starting a new cup. Uh, this one's going to be on a black base. I have my resin mixed up. I just put a little on another cup to, um, to use as adhesive for glitter. So I just wiped my glove off on here. Into this one, I'm going to put my Rainbow Bright Cheat just to add a little bit of flesh and sparkle. So I'm going to give the top of the resin a good coating. I sprinkled a little on the cup for a little extra. Uh, this is from It's Pretty Personal, the Rainbow Bright Cheat Glitter. And I'm going to get that mixed in and on the cup. So here we go. Um, we did a Let's Resin. We actually did two Let's Resin Rainbow Cups uh, a couple weeks back. Well, it'll be a couple weeks back by the time you're seeing this, I guess is what I should say. Um, but I wanted to do another black with the Let's Resin white because when I shook up the second bottle of the white, um, this was the package they sent me. When I shook up the second bottle of the white, this one, uh, I could tell it was much more heavily pigmented the way I expect a white to be. So I put that in a small bottle, which I'm going to shake up again because it's already starting to settle. But I'm much more confident that this particular bottle is going to work better. So I'm not going to do another rainbow. Um because I did two of those, one on a black base, one on a white base. This one I am just going to use the Deep Violet Cerulean Blue and the Fluorescent Rose from this 14 pack of inks. So that is what we are using this time. So that is all spread. I'm gonna remove this top glove and we're gonna go ahead. I'm going to shake up the inks quick. I'm going to shake up the white. And on top of this cup, we are going to use this white clear cast decal, Dog Mama. So that's why I picked those three colors. So let's get to it. I thought about doing strips of color, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really want solid strips. So I may kind of do... Almost in an angle. But I'm going to go ahead in with the white now, which is hopefully shaken up. Whoops. And hopefully we get a very different result this time around with the white. see much better the colors are blooming more the way they should so I do feel like I need a little bit more blue cerulean I don't really think I got, whoops, as much across the bottom as I would like. I don't think I have any of the pinker color. The pink's kind of turning um, purple as well, so. But that is much more vibrant on a black than 
our first attempt. So I'm going to grab my heat gun and just move this a little bit. Okay. So I think this will look cute on here, even though this is more of a full rainbow. Um, it does have these colors pulled through it. So I'm just going to put a couple more drops in the blues. So I'm going to stop messing with it at this point. I'm going to actually stop the turner to switch the um, direction of flow and let it carry on. So I'll be back when this is dry and ready for decal. I am so much more happy with this one. So, yay. Um, I'm not done yet, but I feel like the lens on my camera was super dirty. So I just wanted to show it to you at this point. So, um, the, yep. The fluorescent rose is showing up more pink on camera than it truly looks to me. So, but in some spots, it's a very pink, like down here. But uh, these colors were much more vibrant this way with this other bottle of white. So, there you go. Okay, so I'm ready to get the decal on this. I did sand a little bit on the back, and I may sand a little bit more before I put the resin on it because I did, I don't know if I stopped it for a minute. We did have some power outages the one day, so it might have stopped long enough for just little flows, and I didn't know. So, um, I'm going to trim my decal down. Pretty close to the edge. It doesn't have to be right on the edge because this is white on top of the clear and the color on top of the white, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to get it lined up and get it on. Okay, we are ready to get the resin on this one. I'm going to go ahead and torch this real quick. Uh, there is a little bit of purple on the decal. We'll look at that when it comes back around here. But that is from when I sanded, I then wiped it down with alcohol and I wiped the interior of the cup for any alcohol and I had a little bit on my hand. So I have a little fingerprint smudge there. It's hardly noticeable and certainly not the end of the world on this cup. So there we go. I'm going to bring it up so you can see it. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at the texture and dimension in that ink with these colors. I'm absolutely in love. And here's the decal. So there we go. That is it for this one. Swirl on a black base.